Big safety changes by Uber. I'm Barmo Lyons and I'll show you how you can use the Uber app to protect yourself in a dangerous situation. Caution tape, ash and soot is all that remains after a fire rips through this building. How a community is coming together to show their support. I'm Barmo Lyons at the live desk tonight. That Atlanta based CDC getting real specific about the vaping habits that could cost you your life. With a high school as massive as this one, your child's safety is the main priority. I'm Barmo Lyons and we're working for you to find out how this high school, Buford High, plans to stop any violent acts. If brown water was coming out of your sink, it would be a cause for concern. And for some local residents, they had to experience it firsthand. I spoke to one resident who said enough is enough and he wants clean water. Check it out, light versus pitch black. When it comes to some Atlanta Beltline users, they feel like their safety is in question. Tonight, the live desk is the hashtag pride on peach desk. Right now, we have a team of producers planning for our live coverage of this year's Pride Parade. It's very disheartening. When homeowner sure. Patricia Sanders first moved to Seven Hills community, she wanted to bring a little bit of California with her, black lava rock mulch. But she never knew it would be this big of an issue. A neighbor of ours um, came over and said, look, you need to get that approved. And we, were, we had no idea. I was just thinking, I'm just changing something out in the flower bed. Sanders took pictures of all the areas she wanted to put flower beds, apologized, and submitted a modification request. After two weeks' wait, she was approved. Great, you know, this is wonderful. <laughs> and we went and spent thousands of dollars on lava rock because it's very expensive. And we did every single flower bed on our property. Had no problems up until about 50 days ago. After two years of living in the community, she feels like she's stuck between a rock and a hard place. All I really want is for them to review the original approval and stand by their own decision. We went to the HOA and tried to get answers, but they said no comment. According to Sanders, this isn't only her problem, but the community's. Neighbor Mitchell Chaplin agrees. There ought to be a little wiggle room, if you will, for people who, are, who have a preference and would just like to have that in their yard. According to Chaplin, HOA only has meetings once a year. And for the rest of that time, homeowners are fighting for their voice to be heard. You know, I would think that we would get to do what we want after we were told we were allowed to. Yeah. So it, it's very disheartening. The goal right now is to find out when the homeowners association is having their next meeting so this homeowner's voice can be heard as well as the whole community. In Dallas, Georgia, I'm Barma Lyons on CBS 46 News. If brown water was coming out of your sink, it would be a cause for concern. And for some local residents, they had to experience it firsthand. I spoke to one resident who said enough is enough and he wants clean water. Well, it's rinsing away a little bit better this time. James Rogers says he's sick of the brown. What do you do if you're rinsing the soap out of your granddaughter's eyes and this starts coming out? It's something that they, they need to address. He says it started early this morning and by noon it was still a problem. A bunch of us called the uh, water people. It wasn't their problem if somebody else was making their water dirty. This is somebody's water and it is not potable and it was cloudy this time which is a clear sign that it's not uh, safe in any way. Inland Pipe Rehabilitation, also known as IPR Southeast, is an environmental engineering company who use city water to clean out the sewer. Hello, my name is Barmel Lyons with CBS 46 News. We called to find out whether it's normal protocol and whether it's the reason the water turned brown. But there was no answer. James says he's been through this at least three times. This isn't just rust, there's some other stuff in there too. Everybody's water heater looks like that on the inside now. Rogers has been using drinking water and says his laundry is on hold till he knows it's safe. I know that they care when they put in the new sewer line. Now if we can just get this fixed, it's going to be kind of normal. Now it would be great. Now, we did get a response and a statement from the DeKalb County watershed, and they said that contractors are working to rehabilitate that area, the pipes and Willow Drive. Now, I also want to note that they said that contractors use water from fire hydrants to flush out that system, and that creates the sediment, which is causing that brown water to be there temporarily. Sean? Temporarily or not, brown water is disgusting looking. Is it safe to drink? What are people supposed to do at this point? 
No, totally. I understand. For those who are trying to handle this at home on, you know, are freaked out by what they see, they did say that you just run those pipes until it's ready to use. This high school is the size of a college campus, and according to faculty and staff, safety is the number one priority. Cameras, locked doors, and key card access. At Buford High, safety starts before you even get in. What you'll need is you'll need your ID. School Resource Hi. Office so Chief of I'm Police good. Mindy Beruther be says, so first, make sure people are who they say they are. We want to make sure that the person that is checking in has a valid driver's license and that they are here, they are the right person. Or are there any flags in the system? Beiruther says eyes are always watching. So our principal here, Mr. Allen, um, is really big about the administrators being active and involved. We have an emergency or an active shooter. Each classroom having an emergency button where they can alert administration. And soon, they'll be creating an emergency flip book that shows steps to take in a violent situation. Special education teacher Maggie Bruett says it makes her feel at ease. It's one of those things that this day and time, it's something that we can't act like we don't need to be prepared for. Um, unfortunately, school shootings are a thing that we deal with. The Sandy Hook campaign seen worldwide has Buford High student Timmy at a loss for words. To show like, like how, how it affects the kids in the schools, you know and how, um, how frightening the situation can be. Director of Communications Carrie Leland says it's important kids have someone to talk to. Educating the whole child as part of our education system. There's a lot that happens in these classrooms, but they cannot learn if they don't feel safe and secure. Today was Color Wars, a part of homecoming week, but on a regular basis, students have to wear a strictly enforced dress code to be easily identified. Reporting in Gwinnett County, I'm Barma Lyons, CBS 46 News.